So uh, I took a whipper and the rope normally looks like that. And this happened. Anyway, uh, everyone freaks out about cores and core shots and kind of the inner workings of rope. So I'm going to show you how strong a climbing rope is. Uh, I've commandeered my friend and firefighter, Brian Hahn, to be my test dummy here. And what I have is I have a section of this old rope uh, tied off to a bolt hanger here with a figure eight tied off and a figure eight there clipped to his harness. And I'm going to start hacking away at it and see how far through it it takes to uh, send Brian to the floor. It's not looking too good. Okay, so I just did some pretty serious hacking there. What's your confidence level of that? I'm still 80% confident. Give me some like hardcore bounces. Can you bounce around for me? Come on, like try to break that thing. Ready? Falling! Oh yeah, that's a static fall whipper. Oh god, that's gonna break. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty seriously cut through. So let's just take a little bit more. So now we're easily... Um, Halfway through the rope. All right, Han. Falling. Okay, just bounce around there. See if you can just do some. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Some more hip thrusts. A sex swing. Falling. Oh god. Whoa. Okay, the entire climbing wall flexed, and uh, it looks like we're still very much in the clear. All right, well, it's time to hack some more. So what I have here is a standard Kern Mantle rope, okay? And um, outside of the sheath, we have eleven. Each one of these guys is made up of three smaller strands. We essentially have three times eleven. There are thirty-three small strands in this. So I got the. 1 11th of a strand broken up into its three parts, so now the 1 33rd of the rope. This guy is actually not braided, right? It's just got this ripple in it from how it was braided to the other ones. Anyway, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to tie a knot on either end of this, I'm going to clip it to a bolt, and we're going to see how strong it is. So we got 1 33rd of the rope here. Once. Ninety-five pounds. i got to give more weight. 100 pounds. Hundred and five pounds. Woo! I mean, we're gonna try and see what just the sheath with no core can hold. See how that goes. My guess is it holds a shit ton of weight. We got it loaded up to uh, like 350 pounds um, and don't want to add any more because I don't want to break my fucking pull-up bar. Needless to say, the sheath with nothing in it, it's really strong. It's actually really hard. Yeah. So we got 300 plus pounds on this guy. We don't really want to add any more weight because we're lazy, but I just want to see what happens with these old scissors here. So I just cut about a quarter of the way through it. I don't see anything. Just the sheath. We're halfway through it. Dude, that is 75% of the way through. And it's still holding 350 pounds. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Look at this. <laughs> So the next time you're terrified of your rope, just remember, 1 33rd of your rope holds 100 pounds, so therefore, you could hang a, what car did I say? A Ford Escape SUV on your rope, static load without a sheath at all.